Greetings, dear suckers. My name's Joe Bob, and I'm very peeved. And welcome back to Deus Ex. Last time, we discovered that our brother Paul is... Your brother's hurt pretty bad. Yeah. You'll find him at that the apartment. Too. If he can walk, get him to come with you. I can pick you guys up in Battery Park. Yeah. But besides that, we've discovered that he was work actually working with the NSF this whole time. Which... And that the NSF supposedly has evidence that there's some whole fucking... Government conspiracy stuff going on, you know, the usual. And then we discovered that they might... That regardless of whether all that shitty stuff is going on, the, go the p people we work for fucking suck because they have a gun pointed to our head at all times in the form of a kill switch. So that's... I mean, how can you work with someone like that, you know? That's just a hostile work environment, and that's just not healthy, you know? Well, maybe we don't. Let me just... So, yeah, and here we... Our brother is... In here, heavily injured. Due to the kill switch, no doubt. Surprise! He decided to meet up with me here, of all places. That's... Seems like one of the first places they look for him. But... I guess he is heavily injured. Maybe he couldn't get anywhere else. Oh, hi. You don't look particularly injured, but could be internal, I suppose. Yeah. Is this kill switch real? What's it going to do to you? I'm afraid that's uh, classified. <laughs> Manderly said you're going to die. You've got to have God clearance to, to know. The nanites can be programmed for exponential growth. Oh, fuck. There's a chopper that can take us to Hong Kong. You know, Jock? First, you're the only one that can help. I need to send the NSF to stress code. You natco track Lebedev to the other NSF bases, and to Silhouette in France. Go on. You natco takes payoffs. Silhouette, the other terrorist groups, they're our allies. I'm prepared to believe you. I killed Agent Navara, and I'll join you against you natco, but I want proof. You want proof? Pay a visit to the NSF headquarters. Down in the basement, protected by booby traps, a data cube sits on the edge of a table. My report to the militia leaders. Here, I have a photograph of the building. It's a couple blocks to the west behind the bar. And I suppose while I'm there, you want me to encrypt a signal with the NSF transmitter, bypass UNATCO SIGINT? A lot of people could die. <laughs> My friend Chad, for example, the leader of Silhouette. <laughs> I'll check out the facility, but I can't promise I'll help the terrorists. Be ready to leave for Hong Kong when I get back. <laughs> oh, okay then. He's the leader of Silhouette named Chad, huh? If that's just the, the Chad terrorist leader versus the Virgin Unatco com commander. You sure you're alright? No worse than a bad cold. What kills me is just that they have this kind of power. Indeed. The power, yes, but the fact that it's been there from the beginning. A lot of things are starting to make sense. You remember mom and dad? Your NSF buddy Lebedev says our parents were employees of the United Nations. I think he might be right. They would never have agreed to anything like a kill switch. And remember, I knew them longer than you did. And after what Tong showed me, I'm pretty certain we don't have a stitch of DNA in common with either of our supposed parents. Hmm. Hmm. I mean... They did say that you need to have, ooh, hello, God clearance to even kn to even know about them. Maybe our good parents didn't, or maybe you didn't know them as well as you thought you did, or maybe maybe that's why they got bumped off like they did. You know, I'll grab one level of arms. It's all I'm gonna need after all. I've been putting it off long enough. So. Proof, is it then? Yeah. I'd like to be seeing some of that proof right about now. Uh. 
So let's go get it, shall we? But first... <gasps> epilepsy warning, got by the way. A bit belated, but still. He's not my boyfriend. And what is he? He's Jojo God. He's God? I don't like him staying in my hotel. Then evict him. How'd you get mixed up with someone like that in the first place? Bad decisions. Jesus, Dad, do you expect me to do it? It's your hotel. I just don't want any trouble. Then get used to it. JoJo's the boss on this street. Nothing anybody can do about it. Is that right? Hello. What's the trouble? None of your business. One of the neighborhood thugs, JoJo. He thinks he owns the block. I can straighten him out. Just tell me where he is. I get some rough people in here, but this guy, I don't know, he's jumpy. He's just a punk. I'll take care of it. Oh, yeah. Can you help me out? I could really use a gun for protection. You could have my sawed-off shotgun. That'll keep you safe. Thanks. That'll help. I'll bet. You aren't gonna shoot nobody. Jesus. Be careful with that. Well, actually, I can. But never mind that. You're gonna get him killed. Oh, we'll see about that. Oh, hello. You look ridiculous. Also, what is with that... Those jerky stares, goddamn. What? What was that? Okay, then. What a weirdo. Oh, you bad. Okay. Was it, are you flirt? Were you flirting with me? What you just lying around for, girl? What? I told you, Bar Rush is money. It's business. In a minute. That's my daughter you're talking to. I already explained it, old man. Your girl, she needs me. She don't got an education, and all you got to give her is a job killing rats. This is my hotel. I want you to leave. Next thing is, I explain it to Lo Bruto. Is that what you want? I'll go already. Leave him alone. That's it. I've had it. Where'd he go? Oh, we got it. I was hoping I'd run into that punk. <laughs> I can't believe you shot him. I can't believe you guys suck so bad at killing each other. Treat you like that. Oh, that's just Jojo. He talks big. I think he'll be happier without that guy around. Now maybe you can stay home for a while. Dad. Or at least stick around the hotel. I just want to know that you're safe. I don't know. Maybe. Give it a try. I promise I won't cramp your style. Maybe I'll stick around until I get on my feet. I'd love to stay and chat, but I've got to get moving. Also, I'm out of frame. For some reason. Ooh. Crowbar. How useless. Alright. Nice little happy end to that. That little storyline has, has a couple of different endings. It's got a couple of bad, uh, rather rubbish ones, if one of them dies. It's got a mediocre one if you if you take out Jojo yourself, but if he shoots Jojo at least once, then it's a nice sort of happy reunion sort of thing of the family coming back together. Good stuff. Well, the moment has passed. Time to go. Ah, here we go. Had to pack a few things. What's going on here? Damage control. The NSF got their hands on some pretty sensitive material. You're a sensitive Probably had material. something to do with my two-faced brother. Nothing we can't clean up. Mind if I take a look around? Go right ahead. Let's see, where is this then? Is this the same base as before? You'll need to send the signal from the satellite dish on the top of the warehouse. If you're unable to hack the computers up there, you'll need the instructions and account information Lebedev sent me. One of our agents who tried to send the signal but got run off left the data cube in a secret area below the garage. Look for a hatch under some boxes. A computer on the third floor can unlock the hatch. Okay. 
hugs and kisses. Oh. Which we had Gunther for this, so that doesn't say. For what? Standing around? hoping that guy had the key to here. Well, you know what? While we're here, since, if I recall, sending a signal does cause everyone to become hostile to you, we may as well thin the herd a bit beforehand. We can. You know, if they don't fucking conglomerate into a single area, making it bloody impossible for me to take them out one by one. Come on, they're just getting closer together. This is ridiculous. Oh. Oh, okay. I guess because they're not hostile to me, they don't notice the sounds of me knocking them out. Okay. I guess they just trust me. Fools. <laughs> well, you know what? Maybe not fools. Maybe they're right to trust me. After all, the whole reason I'm doing this whole thing of, like, taking them out one by one is so that I can take them out quickly and non-lethally without any fuss. So, you know... Yeah. Perhaps they're right to trust me in a weird way. Oh, this is gonna be a, ma a bloody nightmare. Dogman actually spent, uh, really did, gave me much time there, if any, but oh well. Okay. Oh. Already have one. Meh. Okay, is that everyone on the ground floor? Pick the bathrooms. Ooh, yoink. I think that's everyone on the ground floor, for now, anyways. <laughs> Max out on rockets as well. So I max out on every variant of the lockpick then. Ooh. Hope there's no one in here. Well, what's it for? Shit. That's a dumb question. No, really. What does Unatco need with that kind of money? Good question. Just look around. You think Unatco be handing out assault guns if funding was left of the UN? Well. The uniforms. If it wasn't for Simons, we'd still be wearing those little white helmets. What's about yeah. our white helmets? He's what they call a philanthropist. <laughs> I'll fax this file. Yeah, all of it. The whole directory. What I want to know is what he gets in return. Don't you know what a philanthropist is? Yeah, like Nietzsche. No, a philanthropist. <laughs> giving to charity. Oh. Well, that's why he volunteered for FEMA. To help out after hurricanes and that kind of thing. That's a lot of money to just give away. Yeah. Some people are just good, you know? Good to the bone. Well, yes, some people are. Kind of. But you're asking the right questions there. What does he get in return? You don't get to become... a... 
fucking multi-millionaire or billionaire or whatever without asking that question yourself all the time. I don't think I can distract them now. Nor do I think I can knock them out without. Yep. Damn. Well, these guys seem pretty stationary. I'll take this body out just in case, but... Here. Uh. Shit. Okay. Well, I've got the lockpicks. Hmm? Young, I've got to assist our forces at the airfield, but I've prepped the security grid in here in case of attack. If Junaco does breach our perimeter, Log in as T. Jefferson with the password New Revolution and activate it immediately. Shut up! It should buy you some time, at least long enough to get to the airfield. I know Erin is looking forward to seeing you again. Don't disappoint her. T. Jefferson New Revolution. What a password. I think that's the one I saw earlier. On the outside, I mean. You're not clear to be up here, Agent. Shut up. I've got my clearance stick right here. Anyone in here? Nothing but this bot that's blocking me. And a human skull. Did I just... Oh, okay, I thought I picked it up for a second because I didn't see it in my arms. I thought I, like, put it in my inventory, I mean. Oh, I've released Halon gas, that's the stuff that's in the fire extinguishers, into the computer room to prevent any fires breaking out in case of assault. Obviously, anyone entering the room unprotected will suffocate. Use a hazmat suit or pump out the gas before entering if you need to perform any maintenance. Decker. Yeah, uh... That's why, uh, there's a reason why fire extinguishers work very similarly to the tear gas th uh, thingamajigs in this. Reminds me, I should probably... Don't I have tear gas? Here we go. Or pepper gun, rather. But yeah, pepper gun and tear gas, it's grenades. It use the same stuff. Which is, incidentally, fairly true to life. Howdy, Agent. Shut up. Guess you have the command now. Yes, and I command you to fall. Okay, that's all. That should be all of them. Now to just go down to the basement to get whatever. Oh yeah, and also, there's this place. Okay, there we go. Maybe using the hazmat suit was a bit much, but I can get another one. P. Jefferson, New Revolution. Here we, there we go. Okay. I was hoping to be able to disable a couple more cameras than that, but all right. Here we go. And this should be to this? No? Huh. I got a key to basement. Something. Hmm. Okay, here's a question. Does it? Yes. Damn. I was hoping it would be one of those that... Hang on, this is blocking something, isn't it? No. Meh. 
I was hoping it was going to be one of those ones where throwing objects through it doesn't actually activate it, because those can be fooled. Those can be disabled using the, uh, the fire extinguisher gas. Okay then, let's... Let's go then. Same code? Hopefully. The Jefferson New Revolution. Yep, here we go. Off, open, off, open, and off, open. There we go. Is this way? Hang on. Where did this go? Oh wow, what a great trade. No, thank you. Oh great, TNT crates balance precariously on boxes. My favorite. Those things are legendarily unstable. Alright, we're past there. And now we've got all the crates we could possibly want. Okay, I'm confused. Some weird stuff going on with that opening and closing. Whatever. And this way... leads absolutely fucking nowhere. Okay. Let's see. Do these go off? Yep. Nope, shit, wrong button. And there we go. One down. Did these go off? Yes. Wait, hang on a second. Ha! Huh, there we go! Okay, it was pretty clever, but I don't know what it did. Story of my life. Oh, it covered that. Okay, that's not helpful. Regular like would be if I had... Ah, oh, this place is loud. Oh god damn it. Okay, thank you. Okay. Oh. My favorite. Oh man, my ears are downright bleeding. Ooh, what's this? The data cube, here we go. Paul, I'm sending this message from the plane. Unatco has become even more... <laughs> Unatco has been even more ruthless than we have feared. And the reports I'm receiving now is that our people... Is that our people are being slaughtered in the tunnels. It's probably only a matter of time before I'm captured and executed. 
and I don't doubt they'll kill everyone they can back at our headquarters. If you can find this, you must get a message out to our people. Align the communications dish, the dishes, using the satellite dish control computer. The login is McCullens, and the password is Revolution. Nearby is the actual com communications console. Log in using Napoleon and the same password, and a coded warning will automatically be bounced to everyone on our network. I can hear the gunshots. They've reached the plane. I'm sorry I won't be able to thank you in person. You've done much for the people of the world. JL. Final transmission. Shit. Okay, so something about the... About records of the bribes. Juan, I have a feeling that, one way or another, my time here is short. And I think my loyalties are already being questioned. The inevitable complications from the raid are go only going to raise more doubts. So I pulled together everything I could without raising additional suspicions. Attached, you should find information linking si Simons, Manderley, and other high ranking members of UNATCO through covert communications and a series of monetary payments. If you check the records over 10,000 credits a month are being placed into an anonymous Zurich account, routinely accessed by Manderley. The payments were slick, being dispersed through a number of shell companies and orbital banks, but they all eventually originate with the companies in which Simons has a controlling interest, if you follow the trail back far enough. I also managed to document some of UNATCO's less than shining operations, including their role in the statue bombing. Oh fuck. Remember, the statue bombing was this universe's 9-11. I mean, 9-11 did happen in the universe also, but th the statue bombing was the real fucking 9-11 not, uh, moment in this culture. That... Holy fucking shit. Most disturbing is further ver- Most disturbing! More disturbing than that! It's the further verification of Tracer's suspicion that Unaco may not only be involved with the distribution of Ambrosia, but also with the Grey Death in some way. I've given a copy of all this same material to Jock, with orders to deliver to Tracer if things get as bad as I think they might. Be careful. P. Yeah, uh... That's pretty fucking damning. Gotta admit. Canal. So yeah, the UNACO did 9-11, or at least were involved in it. What was the wording exactly? Yeah, their role in the statue bombing. I suppose that's vaguely worded enough that it could be... ...something else, but... Hmm. Oh, what fresh hell is this? Okay, or the thingamajogs. Uh, McCollins Revolution. Wait. McCollins Revolution. Okay, um... I assume that's right. Okay, now... Napoleon Revolution. Email. Nothing. Okay. 
And there we go. I'm receiving confirmation that the signal went out. We've even reached silhouette in France. Come back to the apartment and let's clear out in New York. Okay. Time to go. Denton. Walton Simons here. What an expensive mistake you turned out to be. I will have the troops to kill you because frankly, I don't have the patience to wait for one of those damn kill switches to work. What an expensive mistake you turned out to be. Why, Walton? I do believe that's the highest compliment you have given me thus far. Thank you. I aim to displease. Hear that? Everybody's got weapons. Come on. There we go. I still think it's dumb that you have to be so ludicrously close to their body to, to actually knock them out reliably. Hmm. Maybe I should have taken that guy out. Oh well. We have movement here, sir. Who are you talking to? Me? That would be rather dashed, considering I'm the movement. Or are you so used to deferring to authority that you instinctively do it even when there's no one around? That's rather sad. Alright. Here we go. Back to the Tarn. Which I guess which I guess I can see why it's called that now. Yeah, and I'm surprised this place isn't fucking Alright then. Oh, hang on. Isn't there a lockpick or two in here? Doink. There we go. Alright then. We did the thing. Your buddy Chad should have received the signal. Come on, Unat goes after both of us. Good. He'll be able to get his people to their base in the Paris catacombs. Did you find the records we collected on that weasel Walton Simons? I have a question about Simons. The instant I sent the signal, he ordered the troopers to hunt us down. Why does FEMA have authority over UNATCO? Good question. I thought FEMA was a domestic agency for flood relief and that sort of thing. His authority doesn't come from FEMA. He's part of a secret organization, Majestic 12. MJ-12. We don't know much more than the names. They plan to use FEMA as part of a scheme to shut down the U.S. government. Agent J.C. Denton, please put down your weapons and step into the hallway. UNATCO. Come on, out the window. We'll meet Jock in Battery Park. I can't manage the climb. You go ahead. The code to the gate they installed at the subway station is 6282. I can't just leave you here. Open up. Don't be a fool. Run. And so here we are. And we're left with a choice. Do we do as our older and wiser brother tells us? Flee through the window. Escape, leaving him behind. To whatever fate. Or do we stand and fight against the terrible, against the horrendous odds? In other words, it's time to let me know, should I stay or should I go? But that will be decided next time. Because how could I possibly pass up a perfect cliffhanger like this, you know? Well, maybe you don't. But in any case... I have been Joe Bob, and I'm very peed. And remember, dislike the video, unsubscribe if you're for some reason subscribed, and leave a nasty comment in the comment section down below. Fuck you all so much for watching, and so long, suckers.